In this video, we will talk about how to screen for diabetes. So we're going to go to Setup, Charting Setup, CDS Query Setup. We'll make a new, we're going to do the numerator first. So name it, save it, and edit query. We'll start adding the criteria. New line from the client section. So this will be age 40 plus. And we will put in a default doctor, client type of valid Alberta patient, and save the line. Now we will add in the lab result. So they can either have a glucose fasting Let's look at last result only. Within the last five years, now I have an old database, so I'm gonna have to change it to 15, but you keep it as five. And we save the line. Now, the next criteria that we do is gonna be a little bit different because the criteria for the diabetes screening is either glucose fasting or hemoglobin A1C. So we're going to change this to OR. And then we're going to add that in. Last result only. Done within the last five years. Again, I'll have to change it to 15 for my database, but you keep it at five. And save and you see that it says beside it or and it's indented a little bit so that's what we want we want either or so I think we've saved the line and then hit save so we'll run this and we'll see that we have three patients so now we will make the denominator so we will actually call this one 40 plus denominator. So we will add the criteria. Oops. Clients age 40 up and we will put in our default doctor and our client type. Save the line and save the search. This is all that we need for this one. So then when we run the report, we see that we have 12 patients. So three out of the 12 had either a hemoglobin A1C or a glucose fasting in the last five years. So that would give a screening rate of 25%.